Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Dragon Ball Legends on PC using the brand new Blue Stacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Dragon Ball Legends and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Blue Stacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Dragon Ball Legends. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all mates, the first thing to do is to open our main internet browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's go to the next URL I'm highlighting in green. Now, you are able to see on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type anything, simply because I added the link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. We landed right here on our own internet site of Usitility, where we get a meticulous outline on how to obtain Dragon Ball Legends on PC. We scroll down a tad and just click on the download game on PC button. Once we click on the link, we arrive here on the website of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to use to play Dragon Ball Legends on PC. It is now obvious that we get several advantages of preferring this emulator. Now we will start downloading the Dragon Ball Legends by clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green. The step is clicking on this button. And the download action takes no time at all. Here it is, this is the download. It is an executable file. The following step is to run the installer, so we click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make modifications to the device. We said yes, I minimize the browser to find the installer much better. The installer is really easy to understand. It contains two options, install, and setup path. I will explain what setup path does indeed. We simply click on it. So we observe that we, they got here the path where the emulator will be set up. If we are planning to vary this directory we have to click on the, browse, button. So we pick another folder and install the emulator wherever we desire. To keep it simple, just leave it by default. I simply click on back. So I simply click on install. Voila, the installation commences and it's going to go forward with the download of these MB that are shown on the screen. The moment you save it on your machine, it could possibly be slightly more or less megabytes. The download rate could go faster or slower, depending on your type of connection and depending on the speed capacity of the emulator servers. Right away they are working quite fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has been started automatically. As you can observe, down here, we have a progress bar which will fill up so when it gets into the finish, the emulator will be started for the first time. The truth is the emulator was already started, here it is for the first time. Before we carry on, as you can observe, it has made two icons there on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon is definitely the one we are concerned with. Each time we would like to start Dragon Ball Legends on our desktop or laptop, we twice click on this icon and therefore launch the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we perform the next phase, which is actually a must, and that's to begin to browse the Google Play Store. And we'll simply click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is launched. In this case we must sign in. At this point as soon as we're here, we are required to conduct this next step that is mandatory. Therefore we mouse click on, sign in. At this moment it says, checking info. It could sometimes get stuck in, checking info, that's why it isn't going to move forward. If that's the case, you could attempt to log in in after a few hours and it will surely quite likely be fixed. At this moment we will type our email and password. The email is required to be a Gmail email address and its matching password. For example you may use the same exact email address you're using currently in your YouTube account. Thus I will enter my data and I will go back as soon as I have completed it. That's it, details typed in. Here is Google welcoming us and providing us their terms of service. We can accept them by just pressing, I agree. Following, it offers us to save to the Google Cloud. You can leave it selected and it will build a backup of the data files on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to check it, you do what you want. We just click on accept. Google Play Store is launched without need to open it manually and immediately. To install the app game, 
We are required to browse the emulator desktop by left clicking this icon indicated green colored. Right now that we are watching the desktop of that Android emulator, we see that we now have there the install application button. We mouse click on the button. There we get the game app. So let's click on right here on the install button that I am just highlighting now in green. And this will begin the software installation. At this moment it should download and install the game. It normally takes a while or it could also be very quick. It again all relies upon on the connection to the internet. It has already finished setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by hitting the following option that I am presenting in green, if you want to start Dragon Ball Legends for the first time. We're by now on the emulator desktop, and then we are going to simply click on the brand new Dragon Ball Legends icon which has been created. This video game is started for the first time. Currently there we end up with it, I could click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should comment on the sound level of this emulator. It is here, we use the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume, this way we are not going to depend on the windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of this emulator. And to enjoy the experience to the maximum, we can turn on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This is the very first one, we simply click on this icon which I'm identifying in green. And the screen is maximized, experiencing one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In the event that we really want to run the app in full screen, we click on that game icon. Then we would without a doubt be experiencing the game in full screen function. To get out of the full screen setting, press the F11 key. Then we would likely currently end up being in normal computer screen setting. At present, I am starting to demonstrate you the keys mapping which is actually surprisingly exciting. This strategy we will be capable to operate the game app far more easily. The very first point is to click on this keyboard icon. It's now time to complete the appropriate configurations. I am about to put the default settings, but if you prefer to improve that, you may very well do so without any problem. As you can see, the emulator is totally in our own language. Once in a while it happens that the emulator is presented in the improper language, for example, in Japanese. And then to set it in the proper language we go here to the cogwheel. Then here throughout various other settings, we simply click on the language, drop down. We should decide on the language we prefer. English, Chinese, and so forth. As soon as the language is decided, we are going to save, the emulator would reboot, and also the game, the next time we launch it, will also be in the picked language. At this point, there's another thing that we need to take into account, and it is that we will get a message from Gmail telling that a new machine has been connected with our own Google account. It will likely check with us if we're the ones who have associated with that electronic device. Yes, we should not worry considering that the emulator is emulating in Google Android electronic device. In order to discover which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we arrive right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. Therefore we go here to the, model, selection. And there we learn that the emulator is emulating a Samsung mobile phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for my video tutorial. I hope you liked it, specifically that you thought it was useful. If that's the case, bring it a nice thumb up, subscribe to the channel, and if you have remarks, questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment field below. Mouse click on any of these online videos which are usually showing up on the computer screen and see you in the future training videos. Bye.